Hi, Phil here from nowspinning.co.uk. In this video, we're going to look at the complete Jan Ackerman box set, which includes 26 CDs in total. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, um, and the reason it's taken so while is because there are 26 CDs, and that's a lot of stuff to get through. For me, uh, I was introduced to Jan Ackerman via Focus, which I guess a lot of people were. And for me personally, um, because of um, my vintage, um, I, I was at school when they first emerged in the early 70s, and even my music teacher at school started playing Focus albums instead of just the normal classical stuff that we got subjected to. And they were a completely instrumental um, band, uh, apart from Billy Yodlin. Um, and Jan Ackerman was a superb guitarist and very different in style to all of the normal stuff that we were all listening to. If you're into rock music, you know, the Jimmy Page, Richie Blackmore, um, Hendrix, um, all these all these people. And I guess if I look back now through the lens of time, he's probably more similar to in his approach to his career to someone like Ronnie Montrose. And I say that not because Jan Ackerman is a hard rock guitarist, although he, he can do that, is that Ronnie Montrose had a kind of attitude that if he, was, if he was successful at something, then the next album would be different because he didn't want to do the same thing twice. And I think Jan Ackerman certainly follows that path. And in the booklet, the extended booklet that you get with this box, he basically says that. He's very much an independent person. And throughout his whole career, he has experimented and tried so many different things out that what that does to us, the listener, is that there is just a, such a, a jamboree, a, a, a kaleidoscope of music in this box. So I know a lot of you watch these because you want to see what's in it and see should you search it, search for a copy yourself. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's lift the lid and see what's inside. So here is the box. It's a it's a very sturdy clamshell box. Um, it's, this is one of these boxes that's about 70 to 80 pounds. And some of you might think, well, that's rather expensive and because of this other boxes you see like this and you think well they should be around 30 or 40 but this is huge and those of you who watch my videos a lot will know that the booklet side of things the presentation is a huge part of the package and what you get for your money and they certainly have not skimped on that in this at all so let's take the discs out and move the box to one side just momentarily just showing you that this is what you get in it you know literally 26 um, albums which for the casual listener as you can see here <laughs> that's, that's a lot of stuff to get through so I think it's probably best if we start with the with the book and this isn't just a few throwaway liner notes that you've seen before. This has been put together with the help of Jan Ackerman and the guy who I'll mention towards the end of the video who's helped with the remastering. So it's about 70 or 80 pages actually. And it, there's a brief history of, of Jan Ackerman's career with lots of um, archive photographs. And again, they haven't just rushed through his career and said, and then he joined Focus and then he went solo. You know, they've spent time on this, uh, which is great. But the, what I really like about it is the fact that when you get to the albums, instead of just listing the track listings and who played on what, which again is very useful, uh, as we know in current climate, we don't always get that, is that Jan Ackerman has actually written a small essay um, and perspective on each album as it appears. And depending on um, the importance of the album, what was going on with his career, he's just wax lyrical on, on each album, which I think is wonderful because for us in the UK, um, as much as you've tried to follow Jan Ackerman's career, there will be a lot of stuff behind the scenes we, we didn't know. I mean, this guy has experimented with classical music, jazz, um, literally techno, um, hard rock, uh, progressive rock, um, um, folk. He's done solo albums with just him on a classical guitar. He's done smooth jazz. There is no 
um, area of music that this guy is frightened to approach and he's not really that bothered about whether he takes his fans with him or not. Um, as far as he's concerned, if he feels like doing something different, he will. He's also experimented with different musicians from different genres. Um, you know, there's an album in here where he's experimented with even dance music techno stuff and then there's an album that sounds like ZZ Top um, th there is no area that he has not um, you know gone near and I think that for me personally I'm still I, I bought this um, a few months ago now and I'm still wading through it he's very open and honest in the in the in the way he talks about his music and there are also talk, there are lots of the other thing I've got to say of course there, there's absolutely tons of unreleased stuff and rare tracks here and it's Wouter Bressels who's done the liner notes the interviews and the audio master mastering as well and the research is an absolute uber fan of Jan Ackerman he's also the guy that's behind putting together the forthcoming uh, new focus box as well so the CDs that's all single wallets and um, uh, apart from one so you've got I think they, they may have they've changed the back design to get the, the credits on um, profile uh, they're all in order of the release date um, this is one of my favorites I know it doesn't always get great reviews on online but I, I actually this was done right in the height of his focus period and I absolutely adore it uh, it's quite self-indulgent but why not it was early 70s um, and Tabernacle was I think the first solo album that the kids at school were interested in to follow his career and this had Tim Bogart and Camille Peachy on as well and um, with lots of lute playing because he was such a diverse musician and then he continues to experiment and everything all these a lot of these albums if you try and search for these on eBay or Discogs or or Amazon they're almost impossible to find oh this one is um, this, this is a classical one but it's superb music that one and then you've got the first live one just called Jan Ackerman Live jazzy one there Jan Ackerman 3 which I've got on vinyl um, and then we go through all his different solo stuff I mean they probably don't win awards for the most innovative designs for guitars album but they are what they are this is a guitarist and these are solo albums and that's what he does um, and absolutely brilliant stuff. As I say, if you tried to find these on their own, um, they would cost a small fortune. So 26, so as you see, there's 25 discs, uh, uh, albums, so where's the 26 discs? And it comes on this one, 10,000 Clowns on a Rainy Day, um, which to me is a highlight of this package. Um, it's a double live album and it's got some of the best playing he's ever laid down and he's not frightened to revisit the past and he doesn't kind of half-heartedly approach it um, this is a brilliant album not that hard to find outside of this box but it's nice to see it's been given the the gatefold um, treatment there and then again we just move towards the end this is a quite CU is quite an experimental album um, but really great stuff and then finally the more recent stuff and then my focus um, features um, some really um, rare uh, and early stuff and also some outtakes uh, as well um, and his favorite focus stuff and then the archives towards the end so that's um, the complete Jan Ackerman box 26 CDs and to me it's well worth money the only thing missing and it's if you buy that is I would just want to tag this on the end is you go for Close Beauty which is his recent um, solo album because this is sublime and I play this a lot as well and it just flows from the previous 26 so you know this guy's career is just fantastic so thank you for watching that was the unboxing of the Jan Ackerman complete album box set uh, if you're a fan of guitars or guitar music early 70s prog or jazz anything it's covered in this in this box set and i think it's well worth it so again a big thank you to chris and all our patrons and if you 
would like to subscribe, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or think about becoming a member of NAS Spinning via Patreon. And that will be a great help and help us do even more of these videos and also get on with our podcast. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.